Well, we've seen our tides running above normal and we've had some coastal flooding due to the high tides. This has been going on for the past couple of days and even Monday, those tide levels came up. The reason for that, we had low pressure swing off the southeast coast. Now it is pretty far offshore and continuing to move away. High pressure has been over the Great Lakes. That set up the northeast flow. And when this low was a little closer to the coast, we had those strong winds yesterday. And it was even gusty early this morning. But now it's starting to move a little farther away. The winds will be easing up. With the northeast flow, though, we still had some issues this morning. Let me show you our observed tides across the area this morning. Duck Pier down along the Outer Banks, 6.18 feet. That was their water level. That creates moderate tidal flooding. Lynn Haven Inlet, just under five feet. That five feet, that represents the difference between minor and moderate tidal flooding for that area. So Lynn Haven, very close, but technically still minor tidal flooding there. Fort Monroe and Yorktown, both dealing with minor tidal flooding this morning. And Nassau Wattex at 3.6 feet, that's enough at that location to produce moderate tidal flooding. So water definitely high. Some of the areas really prone to the flooding issues. You had them this morning. What about Sewell's Point? This is the official measuring gauge for Hampton Roads and for Norfolk. You can see Monday, it was more or less just some nuisance tidal flooding. But yesterday morning's high tide, we made it up to about 4.8 feet. And this morning, 4.89 officially at Sewell's Point. That was a little lower than some of the models were projecting. It was looking like it might get to 5.3, but it came in a little bit lower. Still, the water was up across the area. Now, how does this morning's minor tidal flooding compare to some of our all-time highs? Look at this. Back in 2003, when Hurricane Isabel came through, we had 7.89 feet. That level, a full yard, 36 inches higher than what we saw this morning. And you can see the Chesapeake Potomac hurricane back in 1933, we had a level just over eight feet. So some pretty incredible water with that system. Fortunately for us, again, that low pressure is moving farther off and away. The winds are gonna ease and eventually our water levels will be going down. There could still be some minor tidal flooding over the next 24 hours or so into early Thursday. We'll keep you updated at 13 News Now.